All right, Virgos. So your underlying energy is the Nine of Swords. You guys are looking pretty stressed out right now, looking a little bit uneasy. Um, I feel like you guys may be experiencing anxieties, lack of sleep. Um, underneath here, you have the Seven of Wands. It's because you're defensive about something. There's something that you're defensive about. Or you having to constantly defend something, defend your honor, defend your relationship. You're having to defend a lot. So it can be exhausting and it definitely could cause a lot of stress. Okay, so there is something going on in regards to stress for you guys in your love lives. Don't like seeing that though. Okay, don't worry, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out together. Okay, let me just move this over here to the side so y'all can see the underlying energy. Just a little bit more. Okay, so... For your current state of being, you guys have the Temperance card. So this talks about moderation in all things, doing the best that you can, um, managing yourself, managing your life while the universe kind of takes care of everything. So this is pretty much saying, you know, do the best that you can, do you, um, divine timing is going to happen. So it is a pretty much of a patience card, but you know, of course, handling your business all at the same time, right? Not letting everything just kind of like go to the wind. Just managing what you can to manage, you know, doing what you can to get what you were trying to manifest. Now, for your current, uh, for, for your current goal, I feel like what you guys are trying to reach for is the three of wands. You guys want to get what you've been expecting to, uh, you know, to receive what you've been waiting for. Um, for a lot of you guys, this is to put action, to finally do something in regards to whatever you've been waiting to return. So this is really kind of wanting to get something done, to do something. Um, but I really feel like you guys um, are wanting to, put, you know, like wanting to put action towards, um, you know, the thing, you know, whatever you're manifesting, whatever's coming back to you, you want to put some sort of energy behind it. You want to do something with it. But what's keeping you is the Four of Cups. So I don't know if you guys know exactly what it is that you want, or you feel like the situation um, regarding um, something new or something being offered is. It's just like more of the same for a lot of you guys it's kind of like you feel very stuck you're not sure if you know you actually can make a move right now considering that there's some things that um may be looking like it's kind of impossible to solve but um there is a solution somewhere there's a, there's a solution it's just that there isn't isn't it's it's hard to see um and you may be looking in all the wrong directions okay so that's at least a good sign right at least the help is available help is there it's just we're probably not looking at the right spots okay and the reason why you have the four of cups is because of the queen of wands perhaps you guys are very independent you guys do the best that you can with what you got you guys are really good at handling your business um so maybe you're not you don't even even realize help is coming your way because you're just so independent you guys just do what you guys can be with what you know um so a lot of you guys may be responsible for doing a lot of things uh, you guys also may be very popular you guys could be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius um as well uh the reason why you probably haven't noticed somebody giving you any I guess giving you any help also is because they're probably they're probably busy or they're very active in their lives so you don't even realize that some of you guys maybe you guys are doing the best you can handling your business you know keeping the balance in your life but there's somebody that's not offering or maybe you're not you know you're waiting on a uh, um, a response to a, a cup of love that you received or you've given or perhaps that you are trying to decide what you're going to do in regards to this offer given to you by this queen of queen of wands so somebody could have been offering you something and you just don't know if you can trust that now the best path to follow for you guys is strength so this is telling you guys and you know reminding you guys that you do have the strength necessary to get you through this difficult situation so you're under a lot of stress right now under a lot of stress and i do feel like it's because there is it's really hard to find a solution by yourself but i do see that there is this you know need to kind of uh, remain as calm as possible remain as diligent to find a solution um, and staying strong in this situation it's not easy no doubt but i do feel like as long as you guys remain um remain poised for whatever comes your way you guys will be able to um you know handle any situations that come up and even perhaps even see help that can per perhaps like propel you and get you out of your situation where you're stressed uh, for a lot of you guys also to remind you that you do have an ab abundance of confidence or abundance of of um 
of abilities that of your own that you know that you can use to, to help you in your situation to build your confidence i feel like maybe for a lot of you guys you guys may have a lot of doubts in your abilities to manifest to get yourself through a difficult situation and i feel like right now you guys do have this power it's just hard to remember it's hard to to really pinpoint that and to really utilize this confidence that you have or this, you know, the strength that you have because of a lot of a difficult situation that you're going through. So you do have, you do, you know, do you, you do have everything that you need to get you through this, but it's going to take some some compassion, some love, and some um, reminding of, you know, of of what you've been through in the past to help you get through where you, you know, where you truly need to be. Now. And your feelings, you have the emperor. So this is definitely telling me that you guys feel like you guys are ready to go, ready to do something. You guys really want to plan to execute. And I feel like right now you just really want this thing done. You really want to get this, what you know, whatever it is over with because it's caused you enough headaches as it is. Um, so I do get this feeling that you guys may be feeling like you're stubborn as well. Like you guys are feeling pretty stubborn right now because, you know, you're not really interested in compromising. You just want things done. You know how to fix it. You know what you need to do. You just don't, you just want to get it done. You know, you know, you want to just get it in, get it done and get out pretty much. But I do get the sense that some of you guys may be dealing with somebody that's really stubborn in themselves, very, um, one way or the highway. They have their own way of doing something. So that could be it. So you could be, you know, stuck at a roadblock because somebody is not really, really willing to compromise. Um, and they're just kind of stubborn in how they're handling stuff. So it's kind of a struggle to constantly have to like deal with them and do what you need to do to help you get, you know, to where you need to be. But it's a lot of stress. I feel like you guys are dealing with somebody that's just not working very well as a team. Um, so that, so pretty much you're kind of left at your own devices to try to figure out what you need to do to get to where you want to be. Because right now you're just stuck emotionally. No help is offered. You know, you're not accepting help because you're not extraly interested in what this person may have to say. Cause it may not be leading to the, what, you know, leading to the progress that you're looking for. Hence the stress. Now, also, the reason why I definitely said this person is probably not a team player is because your hopes and fears is the three of cups. You want support. You, 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 I feel like you, you, you know, you hope for things to kind of work together and things, you know, people come together and really work with each other. Uh, perhaps with you and this person that is an emperor, Aries, is definitely coming up here. So, Aries and Leo, prominent signs here. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, you got all of them out here. All major arcanas. You guys could be dealing with somebody that's a serious fire sign. Yeah, they all line up together, as you see. But the, seriously, though, I feel like you guys really want to work together, at least come together to figure out the problem. But I feel like this person that you're dealing with is just not working with you. Okay, so there's somebody that's just not working with you. Now, your outcome is the Four of Swords. So I feel like there is a break coming. There is a time to really, you know, re revitalize those energies of yours and really be able to be calm and to have a bit of you know stability and pause for a moment take a break take a rest so i do see a break coming in for you guys but um but i feel like the way to get there is to just remain strong try to um try your best to just you know stay as diligent i you know accomplishing your goals as much as possible so that way you can get a break so that way you can at least get to where you want to be and truly distressed when you get to the four of cups or four of swords rather all right so you guys have come to the edge so this is asking you guys to go outside of your comfort zone to kind of go ahead and take risks um perhaps maybe even putting your ids out there would be taking a risk you know doing something on your own doing something despite someone else's you know approval there's something else there's something here coming to the edge is really just pushing you guys to go outside your comfort zone and do something worthwhile do something that can um that would be very risky but can have a really great reward to it you just have to trust in yourself that you can get to where you want to be okay now let me go ahead and put you guys your wisdom sorry your whispers of love all right so you guys have choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. And it is very true, right? You do have a choice in what you want to do. And I feel like the decision that's that's here, this offer that was given, is one that's requiring a lot of contemplation, a lot of really deep thought, because I feel like you may have hit, you may, may have gotten a lot of offers that were the same, but never really appeasing, never really follow through, never showed you the promise that you're kind of looking for. 
and I feel like this person may be a little different because they've got you know they're stubborn they get things done and they do things by their own terms but then at the same time they look like they just they're not really working with you so whatever offer that you gave them is on like on a standstill because they're not really sure they're not really interested in probably doing something that's you know that you're suggesting but this also could be very well you know your situation as well you may not feel like you sh you know you want to listen to someone else's perspective or way of doing something because you already have a plan you already know what to do you already have something set out you already know how to fix the situation you already know how to get things grow going and rolling okay so it's almost like you're having to constantly defend yourself with your plans because someone else has another idea or another agenda another way of getting something done and it can be seriously frustrating especially if you already you know if you have a solution that has good results and has worked before so you may have to deal with a certain cer certain individual um you know calmly in a very you know gentle fashion because they're already pretty aggressive in regards to getting whatever they want done the emperor okay so choose love i feel like with strength yes you do have the strength to get yourself get yourself through the, situ the situation and i do feel that if you you know by choosing love you're choosing you know patience and compassion as well as you know standing your ground standing your truth standing by your truth and making sure that you get you know at least some piece of what you you know you've been doing Co you know come to the edge as well i do feel like this is talking about taking a risk you know Go ahead and you know if this is if this is an offer that's you know given to you guys, you may want to check it out, give it a chance, see what happens, you know, because what's the worst that can happen? It could probably not get you the way you want to be, so you can always go back and make you know readjust. Um, but yeah, taking a risk and choosing love, whoever you whoever's offering you love right now, whoever's offering you an opportunity to do something, yes, it's stressing you off, but I feel like honestly, this may be a little different, and you might want to try it out. But hey, guys, it's your free will, and it's totally up to you.